Trinity Pauling will be a man down for the remainder of the one minute and 25 seconds that are in this game. Sacks chasing down the puck and battling for it in the corner with Dan Cooter, a two-on-two -two scrum. That's moved along to number 21, wristed just high of Matt Michaels in the four-by-six opening that he defends up to the point. An awkward bounce as Sacks sends it up ahead to Brink, who is in on a breakaway. And yeah! wristed it far down and scores! He scores with one yeah, minute remaining and cuts the lead to one for Salisbury. Big, that's big, but we still... We're still a man down for the rest of the game, so, um, I mean, it, it's big right now. It's big right now. we got a minute left. Trinity Pauling scoring a man down with one minute remaining, putting Trinity Pauling in striking distance. Trinity Pauling will remain on the penalty kill for the, entire, the entirety of the contest. Hopefully they can make something happen using just four players and score a goal to tie things up with a minute remaining. Trinity Pauling will take a timeout. A four on five face off coming for Jake Sachs and Trinity Pauling's first line. The four men of what there is is Sachs, Brink, Coughlin and Cooter, it's, it's intercepted by number 18, the Yale commit for Salisbury, and knocked away by Cooter off the skate of the ref and moved along by Brink, a three, a two on two going the other way as Brink skates and surveys and looks across the ice. Yeah! Cooter scores! Dan Cooter ties up the game with 38 seconds remaining! Cooter! Danny Cooter with a huge goal! A beautiful, beautiful cross ice Seconds ago, we were saying, okay, you know, Trinity Balling, this one's pretty much in the bag. We're a man down. Two, we have a timeout for Salisbury. Wow, Trinity Balling is fired up. Things. 